what's up shorties it's your girl ice nation and look at my room ice nation welcome to my first vlog round of applause just says hey hey clap clap drop it to the flow this is part one of the vlog <laughs> This is a two-part vlog. It's all about me creating this space, um, which is just really near and dear to my heart. I think it's really important to find your own peace within your space, to figure out what your sanctuary looks like, peace and tranquility, room and opportunity for creation within your home and in your space is really, really important to me. Um, and so, you know, one of the bigger reasons why I wanted to revamp my space is a little bit of a story time, but I'll try to make it short. So, um, those who may know, I live in Brownsville, Brooklyn, um, but I didn't always live in Brownsville. I also live, um, in NYCHA housing, um, and this is my first time ever living in NYCHA housing. Um, so backstory is that, you know, I lived in the Bronx for 11 years and um before that i lived in bed -Stuy, but my grandmother got sick and we went to take care of her in the bronx and when she passed away we took over her apartment which she had since 1978 and so um when i lived there we had a slum lord those who know new york really well we know what a new york city slum lord is like um and so because we lived close by the yankee stadium um lots of gentrification is starting to happen and so um my mom and i were actually affected by that gentrification and many other people that lived in my building um because the landlord the landlord was actually trying to um hike up rent not trying to was actually hiking up the rent um in order to get tenants to voluntarily leave um so that they could turn the building into condominiums um they could turn the apartments into condominiums because they were really large apartments and so um as a result of that you know it it was a time it was a really tough time where i was like 18 years old i stop screaming Usa, Usa. Jesus, please, Jesus, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Peace be still. Okay, I'm going to try to talk over my neighbors that are yelling super loud like maniacs fighting outside in the rain at 327 in the morning. So loud. It was just a really tough time. I was about 18 working my first retail job at Zara and um, my mom, she had just got diagnosed with COPD emphysema and just wasn't in the position to be able to work. And so, you know, after months and months of going back and forth to housing court and, you know, trying to get help with the rent, finally, we just gave in, threw in the towel and decided to put our stuff in storage and to enter into the shelter system. And so um, I lived in a shelter with my mom for two years. Thank God, by the grace of God, I didn't have one of those like heinous shelter experiences where people are stealing your stuff and all types of craziness. I lived in a shelter on um, 28th and 5th Avenue, which was, it used to be a hotel. Um, so my mom and I shared a room together. It was very, very tough because it's not home. We had to sign in and sign out everywhere we went. And it was just a really tough time for us. But um, two years after, we um, was given the opportunity to move into an uh, apartment. And because we wanted to have a space of our own, we took the apartment. The apartment was in Brownsville. And so um, we took this apartment in Brownsville in NYCHA. Um, knowing that there would be a possibility that we would end up moving anyway to um, apartment of our choice um, in a neighborhood of our choice. And so we did that. And it was a tough decision because we've never lived in Brownsville. Um, it is a high crime area, so we didn't feel safe. 
um, and it was just really new. Never lived in the projects before. So definitely a really tough time, but um, we're grateful to have a roof over our head and in the midst of the high crime area that I live in and the noise that you may hear in the background, there's literally people outside um, shouting, <laughs> like I mentioned before, um, you know, we still are able to find peace and joy and tranquility. Um, and sometimes it's really tough. Like throughout the last three months, it's been nonstop fireworks, the fireworks mafia. <laughs> But um, we have been able to really find peace um, and just being able to pray and stuff. And so that is really why I wanted to create a space in my home for me to feel good about. Because um, in the midst of not feeling good about where you live, you know, you still have to appreciate the things that you have in front of you. We have to start to view the glass as half full instead of half empty. And so in order for me to do that, I wanted to create a space where I can see the glass as half full and not just see, you know, my surroundings that are outside. I know I live on the second floor. I know they make a lot of noise. I know there's a lot of crime. I know they're fighting outside and stuff, but that doesn't concern me because I'm here. This is my space. This is what I have control over. This is my house. You know, this is where I should feel safe at. And so, you know, that is like the biggest reason why I decided to create this space. Um, I hope you like it. In this vlog, um, it's gonna be two parts like I mentioned before. Um, I'm also going to be showing y'all how I did my knotless box braids. Um, I used a crochet method by a girl that I um, found on YouTube. I can't remember her name right now, but she will be below because gotta tag, you know, wherever you learn things from. And um, you will also be getting finally the most, the most asked about thing from everybody on Instagram is poly gel. Everybody wants to know how I do the poly gel nails. So in the vlog, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step of how to do the poly gel nails. So stay tuned for that. It's two part blog, two part vlog, not blog, <laughs> two part vlog. And so yeah, stay tuned. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for supporting. Like, share, subscribe like comment subscribe you already know the vibes and see y'all later i think this one is ours thank you you're welcome <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm not going to get this because I just think that it's smarter if I get this one. Come on, Daddy. Lollygagging. Do I need tape? Like painter's tape? My budget. <laughs> I don't want tape. I feel like my mom should have some fucking tape in the house. How much is the tape? Bugging. Not paying seven dollars for a roll of tape. Bug it now. I will order on Amazon. Crazy. Bug it now. Ready? Hmm? Uh -huh. Where are you going? Oh. Someone <laughs> say hi this is daddy i know it's a little confusing because in the last video i told you my father is dead 
but this has been the guy who has stepped in as a father figure to me all my life when i was two my mom got married when i was five they got divorced so this has been the guy who has been around the longest so this is daddy yeah, late. huh late. i know yeah. okay so i came home and decided to start working on my birthday look listen i've been dying to learn how to do knotless box braids and it's quarantine honey so this is the perfect opportunity i watched a few youtube tutorials i found one that fit me best which was crochet knotless box braids and so i'm doing that here right now um, I start off in the front which is kind of unusual but just in case I need to like go out or step out for a second then like at least the front is done and I can put it into a ponytail so stay tuned okay here we go my least favorite part about doing anything hair related which is parting like if you don't have a mirror behind you then you can't see the back of your head and it's just like kind of tough trying to get the parts super perfect that's why you see i'm not even using a rat tail comb i'm literally using a nail file to get those parts really crisp Okay, so once I part my section, then I go in with my Edge Booster by Style Factor, which I've been hearing a lot of people talking crap about that it doesn't work. Listen, girls, y'all getting the wrong one. Like, if you got 4C thick-ass hair like me, you need to get the one that's not water-based and watch it work. Okay, honey? Okay, so what I do is I braid about a half an inch down and once I'm finished braiding like a half an inch down, I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to poke a hole through the braid. So I'm not going at the root, I'm going through the braid. So maybe like a braid or two down and I'm going to grab my hair, not too thick of a strand of the hair, but I'm going to grab the hair and then I'm going to put it through the crochet needle. Now the key is to hold on to one side so it doesn't go all the way through like kind of how we usually do a crochet loop and you want to make sure you have like a strand on each side and then you're just going to start regularly braiding. So I'm just going to like braid regularly and add a little bit of my style booster um and while i'm keep on braiding then i'm going to start to add the hair after a while but you want to make sure that it's smooth and you add your jam and stuff like that so as you can see here i've already gotten down to like a good part and now i'm like starting to add more and more hair I know I look super tired because it takes me about three to four minutes per braid with parting included and I'm braiding them so long they go all the way past my butt and I'm projecting about 75 braids so I'm exhausted this is gonna take me probably like two days so stay tuned I keep saying emphasizing on it's a journey it's a journey it's a journey um, if you're going through it and your eyes are open to something else, like, wait a second, I was focusing on this all along. It's not really this. It's this. That's fine. You switch it. You go with it. Um, whatever God has put it on your heart, that's what you do. You know, I'm not saying switch it because you feel like it's not going your way because it's not always going to feel that way. I'm it saying is. if God is opened your eyes to something else, then, then you go with that, you know, because remember, we're still learning. We're still, we are still building our prayer lives. We're still building our um, 
discipline and reading the word, right? And knowing God, knowing the word. So he's not going to show everybody everything the same way. He's not going to move with everybody all in the same way. You know, you might need somebody to talk to and to talk with you. You know, you might not be at that place where you can say, well, I'm just going to God. God going to show me, you know, because that does not work for everybody. Everybody's at different places. Um, Okay, look, I'm on day two now. <laughs> what you just heard was me on a Zoom call um, with my church group. Yes, honey, I go to church. I love church and I be edifying my spirit with my girls. But um, yeah, I literally have no shame I'm doing my braids on a Zoom call <laughs> with my camera on. But I'm almost done. I'm just adding some curly hair to give like a little bit of body. If you follow me on Instagram or you know me, you know last year I had some braids that had curls in it. So I'm just kind of, you know, jazzing it up a little bit. Last break. 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 <laughs> Okay, so we're on what? I think we are on like day four of like the whole vlog. <laughs> We're back at it again with daddy. He's putting up my curtain rods um, and he's just having a hard time because it's hot as hell in my room and it's hard to drill in these project walls, but I'm getting ready to start the makeover. So he's putting up these curtain rods for me. He is the best. Ugh, my shades need to be clean or food. Look at all this mess everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. This mess everywhere. But we about to get out Not working. A hot mess. That is what I'm currently living in. A hot mess. Don't get it twisted. My room never looks like this. It's usually very nice and clean and posh, but it's a hot mess because I'm about to paint and I needed to like take down my winter stuff put it in a closet and bring out my summer stuff um so yeah make room for summer stuff because i plan on buying a lot of stuff this bag over here is a bag full of shoes that i'm just gonna like put to the side of the curb usually people go through garbage so hopefully people find what they need god bless and yeah, so I'm about to get started. I'm gonna start with this wall. This wall here. So I'm gonna move the couch into the middle of the floor and start painting and I'll work my way to this wall. And that will determine if I have enough paint for this wall. Initially, I was only going to do this wall and this wall. Um, but if I have enough paint, then we'll see. Um, Pop said I have a gallon and I should be able to make the gallon stretch. So let's see. It's gray paint and he doesn't think that I need to do two coats. So we will see. And then we clean up everything. So stay tuned. Okay, so, you know, I went to Home Depot with Daddy and I just got a can of paint. The paint cost me like, I think nearly $45. It was a little on the pricier side, not too bad though. Um, and I only got one can because I only sought out to do two walls of paint, um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, and I got these paint materials and they came in a batch for like 12 bucks, so. Mom, my mom knows how to paint, but. She's been aggravating me for the last two days. Like we've been fighting a lot. So I'm like, don't even want to ask her. Cause like, I'm scared she's going to be like, not in a mood to deal with me. But I think I'm going to do okay. Okay. See you in a bit. 
Okay, so jumping right into it, I'm already starting painting. I'm loving how it looks. It's definitely a little bit different than what I expected, but it's good. Listen, I got my headscarf on. I'm not trying to ruin my fresh braids. <laughs> and listen, I'm in the house painting my room all by myself. So like, if you see a little like saggage because I don't have on a bra, like, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get a breast reduction so like we'll vlog and talk about that at another time but like listen for my size like my boobs are not on the floor so like I just wanted to say like don't judge my saggage <laughs> Okay, the room's still a mess. Watch them welding out. Um, but here is the color. It ended up looking, yes, grayish blue, but I am not mad at it, to be honest. Um, I kind of tried to paint every little thing. I got a little mess up there, but like, I'm no professional. But I did a decent job painting my radiator. Um, I got a mop and clean over there. Let's come over here. Got to mop and clean this floor. It's dirty, but yeah, you see it even. It's nice. It's also dry. My hands look a mess. Don't mind me. Nail tutorial coming soon. Um, I gotta finish this. This. So right now I'm just trying to move some things around gonna probably move the rolling rack in front of the closet because I don't really use the closet um, the closet is stuffed to the rim with coats and other shit I really need to purge but really don't have the willpower to do it right now maybe another time um, but these are all my black shirts my black pants everything on these racks fit me and I will be wearing them. I have a lot of black shirts, that's why I keep them hanging up. I'm gonna probably uh, hang these little shirts or something like that and do something with them. Um, and then, I don't know if I wanna keep shoes up here or not, I'm not too sure. I might have some bins underneath here. I might take the bins from underneath here and put it there. Um, and I think I'm gonna move this rolling rack in front of the closet. So yeah, let's see how I can do that with all this stuff still sitting around. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I decided to start putting up the strip light before I finish this side of the wall, um, just so I can push my couches back. So let's see what it looks like. There's a remote control. Oh my God. What the? F Are you kidding me right now? Only one side is lit up. I'm about to have a heart attack. What? Nah, B. What the? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I gotta figure. Oh, please, Jesus, don't let it be a short in this light. Oh my god. I'm gonna be so pissed. 